What makes me 100% games? This is an interesting question I got under my most recent video. I felt like the answer I gave to that comment is not really encapsulating every bit of thought I put into the decision. I love 100%ing games. It's usually my goal to see as much of the game as I can, as the developers intended, which I can see through the achievements. Completing them gives me a general sense of accomplishment. But there's a few more in-depth reasons than I mentioned in my reply that I want to elaborate on a bit further today. One of the most prominent reasons why I 100% games is the level of enjoyment I get out of playing the game. The more I love spending time with a game, the more I want to go out there and explore every nook and cranny the game has to offer. This of course also involves getting all the achievements for the game. The best example I can give you is Rain World. It's a super difficult game that a lot of people give up on after a few hours of playtime because the game just throws you into this ecosystem without much explanation. You are on your own and need to figure out ways to survive without the game's help. It took me 180 hours to 100% Rain World and I still come back to it from time to time because I love it so much. Some of these achievements were stupidly difficult to get, for example the achievement champion, complete every challenge, where the final challenge is very, very annoying. If you know, you know. Yet I did not mind this because it gave me an excuse to spend more time in the game. After I've decided how much I enjoy playing the game, I will have a look at how difficult it is to get all the achievements in said game. For example, I like Hollow Knight a lot, but it can frustrate me from time to time since it is such a difficult game. This means that in my mind it is not worth it to get all the achievements in one go since I will just frustrate myself to no end and suck all of the fun out of the game that way. It's better to split up in segments. For now, I've had my fill of the game, but I will definitely return to it later since I did enjoy it. The reason why I did 100% Rain World, even though that is also a very difficult game, is because Rain World did not frustrate me at all. Other examples like Hollow Knight for me would be Baba is You and Atone Heart of the Elder Tree. The third factor that comes into play is time. There are quite a few games that are so impossible to feasibly 100% in a reasonable time that I try not to focus on the achievements too much. A good example of this would be the Monster Hunter series. I'm currently playing Monster Hunter Rise and the achievements for this game are quite hard to get and there are also 101 of them. Right now, I am on my summer break still, but once my uni starts back up again, I will not have the time to focus solely on getting achievements for this game, even though I really enjoy playing it. This is equivalent to a long-term project of sorts. I will play these types of games periodically, get some achievements here and there, but I won't pressure myself into focusing on the achievements or grinding for them. My focus on these games lies on having fun, as it does for each and every other category I've listed as well. Another good few examples of games like this would be Stardew Valley, Terraria, Darkest Dungeon and Geometry Dash.
In the end, it also just boils down to my collector's mentality. I like to see most of the content games I play have to offer as often as I can, and usually 100%ing a game or not depends on how much I fixate on the game in one period of time. I don't think I've ever mentioned it on my channel, but I am autistic and I experience hyperfixation on most games that I play. This means I will play this game continuously for a period of time where I fully focus on the game and its content until I find a new game to hyperfixate on. This is very great for content creation, but it can also be a negative since it can take over all of my free time. In the end, it's all about finding a balance. There you have it, a detailed explanation for what makes me 100% games. This video is a little bit shorter than what I usually do, but I felt like this was a topic I really should elaborate on. I currently have all the achievements for around 50 games and I am planning on letting that list grow in the future. If you have any more questions for me, please let me know in the comments down below and I will answer when I see it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day.